What's up, Bizarre 1000 here with my TNA sacrifice review for March 15th. Yeah, 15th. Or March, May 15th. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, start off. Here's my little notes. Okay, we have LAX, aka Mexican America, pick up the one against Ink Inc. Brian Kendrick versus Robbie E. It's a decent match, but Brian Kendrick won, which kind of shocked me. Mickey James versus Madison Rain. Mickey James won because Tara came in the ring with that glove. It looked like for a minute she's going to hit Mickey, but instead she hit. What's your face? Um, uh, Madison. So then Victoria's free. We have Kaz versus Max Buck, which this match wasn't even advertised. So, I mean, this match was a bonus match that we no one even knew about for the exhibition title. And it was a good match. This match stole the freaking shit. But, Sting and RVD, man, that was a good match, too. So, Kaz wins, but it's still a good match. Crimson versus Abyss. Crimson won with this sweet power bomb move. It was awesome. And Beer Money versus... Harris and Hardy. Which... Okay, I hope they keep Harris around for a while because I like I like Chris Harris. I mean, Wildcat, I like him a lot. I'm a big fan of his back when him and James Storm had the feud when they first broke up. I mean, I'm really a big fan of Wildcat. I hope they keep him around and get some more matches under his belt and maybe he can do have some better, you know, okay showing, but I think he could use the middle of the match. I think they should bring him back a few weeks earlier where he could have some matches under his belt. <clears throat> we have Dreamer versus AJ. Guys, why? Okay, first off, Dreamer won, which I don't have no idea why. It made no sense to me. I mean, AJ Styles is a younger guy. He's your he's your cornerstone of TNA. Right? He's the cornerstone of TNA. He's the big star in TNA right now. He's your meal. He's the money guy in TNA. You have him lose to Tommy Dreamer. What good? Why? That was so. Let's just. I don't understand it. Oh, we have Kurt Angle and China versus Jeff Jarrett and Karen. Which in the beginning, well, earlier in the show, they came out and they did some stuff backstage. Oh yeah, by the way, I know I said, but Beer Money won. Dreamer won. Okay, I'm sure I got that in there. Um. But yeah. Angle's match, early in the night, Jared's came out and said that she can't wrestle, and I think this is hilarious. Because some people out there in the world actually thought this was a legitimate injury. And they thought she got hurt and she wouldn't be wrestling. Well, because she, she tweeted this and everything. Karen, I mean, bravo TNA. Good job. I mean, because they made people think that she was really injured and she wasn't going to be able to wrestle because she fell. And they put that out there, and everyone thought that, she, a lot of people thought that she was really injured and she wouldn't go. And then Mick Foley came on and said, um, uh, we know, I, I know you're not a six-foot black man, and your foot's not that freaking huge. And so he said, you will wrestle tonight. And Jolene has your special outfit for tonight. So we have China versus, or China and Angle versus the Jarrett's. Of course, Kurt and Jeff, they carried the match. I mean, they had some good back-and-forth stuff for a long time. Overall, we see China finally get tagged in. And she's going after Karen. But first, she does a couple moves on Jeff. Which, if China's going to come back, she's going to start wrestling with TNA. She needs to get a couple matches under her belt and get in the ring training and stuff again. Because first off, she tried a couple moves. She tried a body slam. She kind of messed it up and fell down. Which I'm not going to be talking bad about her because she hasn't been in a ring in a long time. I mean, I'm sure they've worked out and stuff. And she did a suplex and she kind of messed the suplex up. But she hasn't been in wrestling in forever. I mean, it's been years since she's been in wrestling. So she's basically wrestled in a match. So, I mean, I'm going to give her credit for what she did do. It was pretty good. And it was so great. I was talking to a friend of mine. He was over watching it for a minute. And I said, I think she's going to use the pedigree. When she finally got Karen, she put her in the freaking pedigree, which is awesome. And um, uh, someone on Twitter posted up, like, pedigree, pedigree. Oh, my God, pedigree. Old JR tweet. It wasn't JR, but, yeah. 
this was good. This was an okay match. So they end up pick the angle and China end up picking up the win. It's an okay match. It wasn't the best match in the world. Um, do we have Sting vs. RVD? Wow. Sting impressed the hell out of me tonight. Sting, he still got it. I mean, Sting had a phenomenal match tonight with RVD. They had some, they did some stuff out in the ring. They went in the crowd. RVD did this, his, one of his old finisher, one of his old moves of ECW. He actually did a, he tried to do a springboard from the metal, uh, barricade. Steel barricade. And he jumped over to hit Sting, and Sting moved. And RVD's leg hit the bar. I was like, oh, that had to hurt. I don't care, because just think about it. Try standing on a steel... Heck, try standing on a steel barricade and then jumping and have your leg hit the barricade. This other side of the steel barricade, tell me that doesn't hurt. I mean, come on. RVD, he... Great match. I'm not saying it was a great match. It was a good match. I mean, Sting picks up the win with this... I didn't like how he won the match. Because I seen Sting get the Scorpion Death Drop on him. And I was like, okay. He's going to kick out and they're going to continue for a little more. Long. And it just ended like that. I mean, it was it was an okay. It was a good match. It was mostly outside. It wasn't a lot of stuff in the ring. When they talk about the new TNA promos on YouTube are like, wrestling matters. The new, I guess from what I heard, because tonight they still use the name TNA in their show. Good, you see the ring apron, it said TNA Wrestling, and but they're just using TNA Impact as it's just Impact Wrestling, because we're going to be all about wrestling, not about talking, not about all this backstage stuff, which I hope they stay true to that this coming Thursday, because I would love to see them just all more wrestling. So overall, the pay-per-view was pretty good. I mean, I enjoyed this match. I'm about 7 and 10. I just did my whole review. Okay, I have a couple minutes left. Um, guys... The pay-per-view was great, but there was a lot of good matches on the show. Brian Kendrick Robbie was a good match. Mickey James and uh, Madison was an okay match. Kaz and Max Buck, I think, stole the show. Crimson and Abyss did a good job. Beer Money, uh, that tag match. I mean, every time Beer Money's in a ring, they tell a story. And I love that. They finished off, they beat him with the old AMW finisher. Can't remember the name of the leg drop, but um, uh, where back in the day Harris would hold them and James Storm would do a leg drop from the top rope, and then J James Storm picked up the win. But I mean, yeah, and it was cool because Chris Harris came out with some old AMW gear on. That's probably all he had. But yeah. well, it was a pretty good show. I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed the show. I didn't get to see a lot of the matches because I was in and out, I was busy a little bit. I didn't get to see a lot of, I didn't get to see AJ Styles and Dreamer, but I heard how I ended, so I don't want to try to watch it again later, but the replay's on now, but I might try to check it out later, but it was a good show, so yeah, I was doing other reviews before, I was gonna do, um, uh, like, I put up a Smackdown review, no one checked it out, really, I mean, I don't got that many views on it, I put up... A small little, Smallville review, but I don't think too many people will check that out either. I don't really do other shows for reviews, but I would love, if people are out there and they want to do something, because I'm trying to talk to a friend of mine to do, start a channel with me where we can, he's not really into wrestling, I'd love to get a hold of somebody around here, I'm from Michigan, and do, do like an F and True type style of a channel. I'm wearing my Fortune shirt, because Fortune was awesome tonight, they kept their belts. Cass kept his belt, Beer Money kept their belt, Sting kept his belt. I mean, I didn't get to see the, the free preview show, but, yeah. So, yeah, it was a good show, bro. I was in between watching the, the show, watching the game, because I just wanted to check out the playoffs a little bit, so I was kind of doing both. Um, But overall, the pay-per-view was good. About 10 minutes, almost, my 10 minutes are up. Try to keep my videos about 10 minutes long, make it short and sweet. Um, pay-per-view, if I give it a grade, I would give it, I would give it a C. Because it wasn't a great pay-per-view. It wasn't a bad pay-per-view. It's kind of, I'd do it in between. If I had to do a number, I don't know, but Bizarre 1000 here, guys. Have a good night. Peace out. Enjoyed the pay-per-view, so, guys, thanks a lot.
Hope you guys all do good tonight. Have a great night. I'll talk at you guys tomorrow with my raw review.